Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at the most popular couple's fifth wheel in the RV industry. This is a 2021 Grand Design Reflection Model 337 RLS. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this fifth wheel and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Will's RV Reviews Towables. It's the world's only channel giving you three things we love and three things we don't love about every travel trailer, fifth wheel, and toy hauler that we review. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at this awesome Grand Design Reflection. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. How to Will? Hey guys. How's it going? It's going good. I'm excited to take a look at this too. It's, it's nice because it's a mid profile. Yep. It's, um, you know, nice and big but not too big yep um you know so and that perfect com combination yeah. of quality and price exactly so i'm excited cool let's begin will let's begin all right model is grand design reflection 337 rls the actual tip to tip length of this fifth wheel is 35 feet 6 inches the dry weight is 10,697 pounds and well the hitch weight 2,090 pounds. Perfect. Always remember, it's not necessarily about the weight of the unit. It's about that pin weight right there. Right up front here, we have a nice, beautiful painted fiberglass front cap. Grand Design Reflection. Again, one of, one of no, this is their most popular unit, period, because they make it in the travel trailer and fifth wheel. Right here, we have a lipper component pin box right there. And then underneath here, this is storage. It is not prepped for a generator. Again, on a mid profile, I'm not super mad about that. <coughs> right over here, we got your propane tank right there. Very nice. This is going to be your pass through storage. Really nice, really big. You can see the aluminum framing. It lights up on the inside and it is very, very nice. We do have four point electric leveling, okay? Nice one, not one, but two big power awnings with LED lights. We'll take a look at that in a second. Right here, look at these steps, Will. They're the more ride steps, which is interesting. A little uh, different right over though. Here, we do have a propane quick connect. What were you saying? They're a little different though. I think they like go flat or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very different and unique. Arctic insulation package and we do have the two awnings. Let's take a look at that one when they're all the way up. All right. Great, two huge awnings with LED lights. I love that. Coming on downside here, look at these tires, Will. They're the Goodyear Endurance, I love those. ST235-80R16. And we do have the Moride CRE 3000 suspension. And then also, since we're down here, your spare tire is down there. Coming on down the side here, we do have power and coax if you wanna have the TV on the outside. Also, it is prepped with the Lippard component tire monitoring system. It's prepped for it if you wanna add that. Coming around the back, we do have a 3000 pound hitch with the four pin connector. So technically you can tell behind that, this which is very unique for a mid profile that is wheel. yeah um but even though you can you probably shouldn't even if it was a full profile i wouldn't yeah, recommend it's not it a good, <laughs> hey it's not a great <laughs> idea it is prepped for a furion backup camera and we do have a one-piece tpo roof will let's go up there and take a look all right here we go big now. step i got it Up here on the roof, you can see this is a nice one-piece TPO roof. One air conditioning unit, and it is prepped for the second one. We've been seeing that a lot lately with the AC shortages. Very nice. You do have places for your Max Air fans. And right there is your WineGuard digital antenna. You're not on a... Oh, God, I thought you were coming down. Great. 
And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What other RV salesman's gonna take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. And I didn't like that. So, if you look at that Crusader, you see that oversized, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, with it being mid-pro, it had more of a bigger slope. It was actually kind of scary. It makes me reconsider my life decisions when I <laughs> climb up on those roofs. <laughs> Coming on, finishing up. You got your spare, uh, spare, what am I saying? Sewer Sorrows. hose connector right there. Look at that. Right here's where you dump your black and gray tank. With a little light. Yep, 50 amp power cord connector and a Furion water heater. Very nice. Is that a first? Never seen that, yep. I'm pretty sure that's a tank this water heater as well. Over here, it's the uh, other side of this with your city water connection, black and gray tank, potable water fill. Potable, potable. Very nice. And then right over here, look at this, blue lights underneath there. Oh wow. Probably so you don't whack your head. Probably. And then here's your propane tank. Well, well, the outside of this fifth wheel looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Go on inside, Will. All right. Did we mention the Arctic installation package? I think so. Okay. All right, starting up front, you got the bedroom up here. Bathroom in the middle. Kitchen coming down the stairs, dining area, and the living area in the rear. Where are yes. we starting? Uh, back right there, here. but first, while I'm getting the awning in, I want to take a second to thank our sponsor, MyWaggle. For those of you who don't know, MyWaggle is an RV digital thermostat reader. It's a pet monitor, okay? So if you have pets, you're going to want one of these. If you bring your pets camping with you, as you know, if you go out to dinner, you're going to have to leave your pets in your camper. In the middle of summer, it gets pretty hot. What this thermostat reader does is it notifies you if it gets too humid, too hot, or too cold, or if your RV loses power altogether, i.e. it loses air conditioning altogether. The best part about this is it works off of the Verizon network, so it will send you a text message notification and so that way it will let you know to either, hey, let somebody at the campground get your pet or if dinner's over and you got to go back to your camper to make sure your pet is safe and secure. So if you have a pet, if you go camping with your pets, make sure you check out our friends, My Waggle. We put a cost, we, we, we negotiate a deal for you. So we have a huge discount once you use our link down below. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and... Something a little annoying. I couldn't put both awnings in at the same time. That might be because our jump box. Maybe, yeah. But if it's not that way, it's kind of annoying. Great. Let's get started back here, Will. Okay. See, this is why I love mid pros. Yeah. You know, once we're for short people, you know what I'm saying? I mean, even for tall people, because if you take a look, yeah, he's still Will still has a Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it makes it easy because I can get to the storage here which is nice we do have nice windows all the way around grand design's really great at this feature and then you have the slow rise privacy shades over here we do have a nice sofa and it does come out to make a trifold bed well we're going to demonstrate it you know why why is that because this is america that's right you know that had nothing to do with it, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's what makes it funny. Got a little bit of storage there. And then look at this. That's what we mean when we say a tri-fold sofa. It's bigger and better and more comfortable than the jackknife sofa. And it's just, yep. it's great because you can have relatively taller adults. Somebody like myself. I don't know if I'd call you relatively taller. Well relatively shorter but i'm an adult oh okay that's what i mean well, that's what i mean i don't know if we can call you that either <laughs> <laughs> probably not and then over here we do have the nice thomas Paine theater seats okay 
we have storage above, which is kind of unique. You see how it's kind of slanted angle. there? Yeah. Is the whole thing slanted? No. Nope. That's very unique. That's uh, an optical illusion. Okay, nice feature right here above the dinette. Look at this, you got the dimmer light switch. See how it's brighter? And then it goes dim. Did you see that? Yep. Very cool feature. These are electric seats. Uh, heater, I mean. Vibrator with a lighter. And then right here you With a lighter? With or a, with lights? With a light. <laughs> Technically it's a lighter. It lights up the light. Oh, okay. And then you have the recliner seat right there. Then what's very nice is we are looking directly across at the entertainment center. Okay. Right here you have storage. Right here is your DVD Jensen player. Radio, FM, everything. A Logic with an X TV. Very nice. Wow, great drawer. Right. Great drawer. You don't normally see that. And then you have a fireplace right there. What is nice about this fireplace is it does produce heat from electricity, which is very nice. And then over here, Will, is the table. I love this. You got the table. It's the booth, table, and chairs. Yep. I love this. Um, what I will say is, even though it's table and chairs, it does look like it is going to be tight on that side. It is what it is, but I like the concept here. And it just makes it nice. Oh. Is it comfy or no? No. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought it would have been more comfortable. Yeah, no, I definitely would have thought as well. Definitely isn't because um, this seat's just a little too small. Hmm. Interesting. Not a big deal. Well, Will, you know what time it is? It's time for the MSR. Oh. <sighs> Will, you ready? Yeah. Will, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for the, the MSRP. MSRP. It's pretty good. I think I like that. <laughs> we got to hear what everybody else says. MSRP on this Grand Design Reflection here is... Wow. Reasonable? N amazing, actually. It's the same price as the Grand Design Momentum from yesterday. Wow. Which, if you guys didn't see that episode, check it out. <clears throat> that was a travel trailer toy hauler. MSRP here is $64,869 MSRP. Sale price, as you can see there, we're not allowed to advertise the sale price because it's a grand design. Um, but the sale price, we will be able to get you a lot better sale price than the MSRP, of course. Will, if somebody's interested in buying this unit, Tell everybody the best way to get the best price. They can call, they can text, they can email, they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell. Or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send me an email. Or the best thing to do is to go to mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see a contact tab with three choices. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV and somebody from my team will get you the best price in America. If you have questions about this RV, perfect. Click tab number two. That's gonna send an email to both Will and myself and we will answer you within 24 to 48 hours. Um, and we'll just get back to your question. I'm sorry, I'm a little kooky right now. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then three, if it's just a generalized fan question, click that third tab. And Will, it doesn't matter if somebody clicks tab three, two, or one, there is one thing that every tab has in common. They're gonna get the best price in America. <laughs> will? Let's continue the video. All right, sounds good. We will start over here with this nice big pantry. It does have a light in it. Very nice. Then coming over here, you have a nice Furion microwave, just a regular microwave. Yes, yes. A little bit of storage right there. Okay. Nice window letting in lots of natural light. Yes. Um, a three burner Furion cooktop. I like the looks of this one too. It does look, oh, oh, that's the, uh, Bobby Bobby from Utah uh -huh. called that the Chef Collection. The Chef Collection. That's good. I like yep. that. Um, and a nice Furion oven underneath as well with some storage. Nice. Got some drawers here. Yes, sir. Wow. Wow, very nice. And then right over here, we do have the two-way Norfolk fridge and freezer or soft gas, propane, um, or electric. 
Very nice. And then over here, up top we got plenty of storage. Yes, sir. And right there. I like this backsplash that they did. Again, it's, it's not real. Like, it's not real tile, but it just looks nice and clean and everything. Mm -hmm. And a little more modern. Nice solid surface countertops here. This is perfect for a taco bar, don't you? Yes, think? yes. Good size. I mean, you got your, well. I mean, you could do with soft shells and hard shells. That's right. I mean, you could, All do, the chi toppings. You could do chicken, steak, or beef. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, so it's, it's there. A, that's a great taco bar. Now that is. Probably why Nate and Marissa bought the grand design. Right. Plenty of storage here as well for all your taco fixings or coffee stuff. Yep. All right, and there. And, well, there's actually another thing. Oh, just a little bit. Okay. And then coming over here, again, solid surface countertops throughout this whole kitchen. Um, nice solid surface inserts as well. Yes. Um, nice spray faucet. Okay. Yep. Removable spray faucet. And then you just fit right in. Yes. I love the solid surface ones. It's just nice and clean and smooth. Good for cooking. Uh, got a couple more drawers here. Okay. And there. And some storage under the sink. Very nice. Oh, there's the uh, tire thing. Oh, tire link. no, wait, it comes with it? I yeah. thought it was just prepped for it. Nope, I think it comes with it. That's a great feature. It is, yeah. I like the lights right there. You have a max air fan and everything. Will, it's now time for the toilet test. All right, let's go take a look. Here we go now. Our mid profiles are hit, hit or miss, so we'll see. Yeah, we don't normally expect too much from them. Ooh, borderline, good, but I think we give that the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, especially for mid Because it's a mid pro, yeah. Yep. Bing! Very nice. Nice cool. one piece fiberglass shower. Is there a seat in there as well? There is a little one, yep. Oh, man. And, and see, it, it's really borderline, but you can turn 360 yeah, degrees, definitely. right? Yeah, that, that, That's the key to that. Yep. Okay, over here. We do have a medicine cabinet right here. Um, oh, oh okay. This, oh, it is tankless. Yep. Nice. I, I just like Furion stuff. Oh, we do have a countertop there with your sink. We got drawers, storage, and this right here. Sorry, California. Uh, and then they're calling us from California because our prices are so great. <laughs> but we will call them back. We got more storage right there. A power fan right there, and then Will. It's now time for the toilet test. Okay. They are almost. Almost not good? Almost. No, almost too much against the wall. Wow. They're not. This is good. And it's porcelain. This is a prime pooping position. Bing! Very nice. It looks uh, good. No, no, no. It's good. It's just like almost. It's just a hair. No, no, no. It's, it's good. Yeah. It could have been bad. That's what I meant, it was like a hair in the yes. wrong direction, and yes. it would have been bad. Over here in the master bedroom, nice bed, queen size bed, good headboard, uh, windows on the left side and right side, which we really love. Okay. Right over here, we do have, oh, oh man, wow. that's nice. I know it's just a motion light, but still, big old uh, this area. This is nice. That's yeah. pretty classic. It's, it's really impressive, because it doesn't look that big, but again, I don't think we can emphasize this enough for a mid profile. Yep. I mean, there's a reason why this one sells so good. This is where your TV would go right there, which is just unique. Yeah. But you get more storage that way right there. Window and then your dresser drawers. Very nice. And then finally to wrap it up, a little bit of storage right there. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about the Grand Design Reflection and three things we just don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike? Yes. Number one. Yeah. Carpet in the bedroom. Never have been a fan of that. Never right. will be a fan of that. And it's okay because it's not a deal breaker because did they... Oh, oh yeah. No, oh, they oh, did put it under the dinette. Up. Yep. But again, it's it's not a huge deal. It's no. just personal preference. That well, is number one. Mine's in here as well, actually. Really? I wish that they it did a king bed in here or at least optioned it for a king bed. It doesn't look like there's enough room for that. 
Okay. Okay. Interesting. So. Yeah. Well, and again, that's going to be... And it might be... You should double check on that. It might be option for a king bed, but it doesn't look like it. No, it doesn't look like it. So. And and again, that's going to be a personal preference. Yeah, I need a king because, bed. Because, yeah, well... You're probably fine with the king. Will, will, Will's a king. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's number two. And then number three, Will, um, is this seat right there. It really wasn't that comfortable. And because it, like, literally... This much is missing from the whole thing. Yep. And it's just kind of a tighter dinette area. Uh, I don't know what they could have done in place of that. It's just, and, and quite frankly, it might be us. It might not be the dinette. Probably. But still, you know, it's America and that's how we do it. <laughs> we like grilling. We like, you know. Oh, yeah, that's what camp is all about. Mexican. Well, yep. Mexican food. Yep, exactly. Well, well, that's it. Oh, that's not it. That's three things we don't like about it. Now, it's time for three things we love about this reflection. I'm going to go first. Okay. And this doesn't have anything that... Well, no, it does. I, I'm five foot four, five foot five. I can reach all the cabinets. Right. Obviously, I can't reach those top ones. But still, everything, it's big and plenty of height. But still, I'm still able to get to everything. And, you know, there's a lot of times you guys will see on the show, I got to get Will to open up over half the cabinetry. Right. So I really like that feature about it. And I, I think it's awesome. Cool. So that's one. Mine's two. outside. You okay. Keep going on now? Or? No, no, no. Give us a third like. Oh, okay. Um, I would definitely say for my... Okay, I'll say number two would be this kitchen. Yeah. For a mid-profile, this is a nice big island. Yep. Plenty of counter space. Plenty of room for cooking and, you know, laying food out and entertaining and all that. And solid surface countertops. Yes. That's yeah. what I was about to say. So that's two. And then, Will, no, what's number three? So I'm going to kind of combo it. Not kind of. I'm going to combo it. Um, first is the storage for a mid-profile in here is really, really good. It sure is. Completely passed through. You know, it comes out a little bit there for your wet bay. But overall, you have plenty of storage, and I'll combo that with having two awnings. Yes, 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 so yes. So many times we see them just put one. All the time. And, um, you know, I'm glad that they listen. Yep. Pay attention. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. That's the reflection. Thank you guys absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this fifth wheel, please call us, text us, send us an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's the personal cell or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. In a few seconds, if you're in the market for a mid-profile fifth wheel like this, we are going to put its competitors right there and there. Will, is there anything you want to say? Yeah. Hold on. Of course. All right, guys, so um, mid profiles are like really cool, I think. It's just like a lot of bang for your buck overall. Um, so make sure if you guys have any questions, let us know, reach out. Make sure to leave down in the comments below three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out my waggle. Yes. We'll have a link down in the description below. Yes. Um, it's very, very important if you travel with your pets, make sure that you have the system to watch over them while you go to the grocery store run out for dinner whatever that is and make sure you guys subscribe because in about two to three weeks we are going to be in michigan That's two right. to three weeks by the time you guys are watching right we're going to be in michigan reviewing jayco eagles and right. cougar and keystone cougars yep which is big competitors to the reflection 100%. so we're and we don't care which one you get we're just super excited to show them yep thank you guys absolutely everybody so much for watching and will We'll see you next time.